Ah. Uh. What up, everybody? It's Peace. I welcome to another video. So today I've got an amazing deck profile for you guys. Um, I have been uh, running my Dragon Link deck, but uh, this time it's 60 cards. I'll get into that later. Quickly, I'm gonna open up some tournament packs. Uh, this was entry for a tournament I went to on Thursday. Uh, this was entry for a tournament I went to today. And then this is my prize packs for getting 8th place. So let's get into it. Uh, I'll do it in order. So uh, Thursday's entry packs. Shout out to Tinley Gaming Goat. We got uh, DDR, uh, Dogmatica Punishment, and Amorphous Persona. Nice. All right, so first pack of Blazing Vortex. Um, let's just go through these cards because I don't know any of them. Metal Foes stuff. Next pack. All right. Whoa, is this Electromite? No. Oh, I got an Ultra. Is this good? Which, when, which di Diamond Bell? Hell no. All right, probably not. I don't know what any of these cards do. All right, second OTS pack. OTS pack 15. Let's see if we get an ulti, guys. Noctovision. I get an upgrade. That's hilarious. Um, all right, and then uh, a few more packs. <gasps> uh, whatever that is. Ooh, Wind Witch stuff. Oh, Jalo Pink. Nice. Four more packs. Let's see what we get. Ooh, another Electromite. Um, so, so you, yeah. <laughs> it's 2.30 in the morning, guys. I'm a little uh, out of it. Actually, this looks pretty cool. Oh, it's an equip drop. I'll have to read that later. All right. Next up. Ooh, the new Rota. Do, do, do. Uh, a fusion. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Two more packs. Uh, Constellar K Caduceus. That's hilarious. All right. Last pack, and then we can get into that sweet deck profile. Hit that like button if you've watched this far. Mm -hmm. We got another ultra rare. Ka great, greater polymerization is great. I'll have to read that some other time. All right, so decent pulls uh, for going to two tournaments. Um, I unfortunately got eighth place. There was 30 people there. Um, I uh, failed to activate Nibiru uh, before the Apollosa summon. I didn't think he was playing it. My bad. Uh, so, um, on the Thursday tournament that I didn't place at, I went X3, uh, and um, it was because uh, I think every single game I drew Red Eyes Black Dragon, because I was playing 42 last time. So I increased the deck count to 60. So we're back on 60, guys. I still didn't get um, the Chaos Ruler or anything for the extra deck, um, so I'm still playing the budget version. Uh, and I don't have the Dragon Maid Chambers, so... Yeah, but this deck is ins ins insanely consistent, and uh, yeah, it still does all the same things that the other de deck did, except you just don't see your side deck cards as often. Three Star Leaf safer now. Uh, you want as many normal summons as possible. You can side one or two of these out um, going into the sideboard, but I don't recommend siding out engine cards, as Tony can probably tell you. Uh, triple Black Metal Dragon, this is another starter. Noctovision Dragon, this turns any normal summon into a starter, and we play a lot of them. I can upgrade one of these finally with my uh, OTS pack. Now we're playing 3 Tracer, because we're playing 60, um, so you want to see this. Uh, then we got the 1 Rocket Recharger. This is a uh, spicy tech I added. Uh, you can summon this off of Tracer, um, and then switch it to Defense with Boral Sword, and then make it pop itself, special summon another one from deck, and then send one of your opponent's cards to the graveyard. 2 Rocket Synchrons, because we're playing Needle Fiber, and this is a great Needle Fiber target, or a Tracer target. So now there's 4 Tracer targets. And then since we're playing so many extra cards, I've got 2 Abs Router. If you draw any one of these, uh, you can normal summon it and then special summon this and that's full combo and you search so it's like super insane So that's the rocket engine and then the uh, the other starters Next up just the utility cards double Grotar. Uh, this cards insane to have in your hand because if your opponent negates and destroys something 
um, you special summon this and then you can continue your plays. This actually came up in tournament. I had one in my opening hand and something that I had summoned got negated and destroyed. I got to special summon on the dragon. It was uh, my needle fiber. It got gammed. So I was able to special summon my uh, Brotar and search a Chaos Dragon so that I can continue playing the game. It was insane. So I really like this at two. And you run two Seal of Heavenly Spheres, so it's also can come up that way to search basically anything in your deck. Um, then we got white and black. Uh, that's standard. These are still at one. These are for Chaos Space. And it's either one of them is basically full combo. Uh, we have room to play more uh, of the uh, essential bricks that you can uh, search off of Black Dragon. So we're playing this. Um, I would rather draw this than Red Eyes Black Dragon, because at least you can normal summon this and then uh, start to full combo, because this plus Noct Division Dragon is full combo, so like whatever. Uh, then we got the one of Leviathan here. I thought about playing two of this one, but honestly, you don't want to see this in your opening hand. Uh, you search it with Brotar. Uh, it's nice if you have full combo, but if you don't have full combo, this card sucks, like, because you need to banish three to summon it. Uh, you bring this back with Safer, obviously. And then finally for the big dragons that we use is uh, the hard ones per turn. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon that turns Black Metal into full combo. All right, then Hand Traps. Uh, we play a lot because it's 60, um, so our chances of getting two in our hand is high. I didn't do the hyper geometric calculator or whatever online, um, but like I play a, a big uh, suite of Hand Traps. So Ash, obviously. Um, I'm maining Nib again. Um, uh, at my locals, there's a big problem with Virtual World, uh, at least until the ban list. Uh, who knows what's going to happen after that. But uh, I'm maining these now because... Like, if you don't have this, you just flat out lose. And you want a combination of hand traps, because most of the time, Nib is not enough by itself. Uh, double Ghost Spell. Uh, a lot of the main decks are doing stuff out of Graveyard, either adding from Graveyard or Special Summoning or, or whatever. Like, this stops it. Uh, triple Lancia. This is just an amazing card. It's a Floodgate monster from your hand. It's phenomenal. Uh, and then finally, uh, I, I play the Gamma Package. This card is absolutely insane especially when you're activating it during your turn. Um, so in tournament, actually, real quick, um, I was facing my round two opponent, I believe it was, uh, John, and he was playing Infernoids. He opened up Insanely Broken, so he activated both of the uh, Infernoid cards, the Special Summon Monsters, equaling level eight. Um, void Vanish, or Void something, Void Feast, I think. So he chained two of those. So he summoned five monsters on my turn. I drew Nibiru for turn. So what I ended up doing was... Uh, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, and Chain Link 3 were the Decatron effect to send. Uh, Chain Link 4 was Cyphering Gear Gamma, and Chain Link 5 was Nibiru. So my Nibiru attributed his board, then my Gamma uh, Special Summoned itself and Driver. So I started my turn with three monsters on the field, and I changed his five cards into a token. It was the most insane thing ever. Um, so those are the 14 main deck hand traps, and I side uh, four so that I can have 20. So basically a third of the deck can be hand traps. Um, for the hard matchups, because if you don't um, if you don't hand trap them and you just let them play, you just automatically lose. It's so insane. This game is so silly. Uh, Dark Magician and Red Eyes. I'm convinced that this package is worth playing. Um, although uh, on my last match, I literally drew these three, Ash and Lancia, and then for turn I drew Starly Safert, and I was able to actually play with that Safert alone. For quite a while until I got Nibiru on the LP uh, summon from deck. Um, but yeah, that just shows the power of this deck. You can have three completely dead cards in your hand and you can still play the game. It's so stupid. Uh, but yeah, uh, the guys that were there know that I had this hand and they saw it. Several people saw it and they were talking about it. I could see them uh, in the final round. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was insane it was, that I could even play with that crazy hand. Um, then the one-up power spells, Monster Reborn, it's an extender. I play this now. Uh, Needle Fiber is really cool because it special summons a tuner and it's got nice arrows for the guard dragons. So uh, this can also actually get you into Predator Plant Verte Anaconda if you get stopped in some way. Um, say you get nibbed um, and you have this, for example. You can special summon the, um, the Gamma from deck or whatever and then link those into Needle Fiber, special summon another effect monster from deck. Then you can use those two effect monsters to go into Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. So this... Uh, it's just an extender. Like, it just gets you in a noodle, basically. Uh, and it makes Gamma useful, because usually you only get one use out of Gamma, so uh, this makes a, a, a bricky card out of your deck, and you can use it to actually summon dragons. Uh, Foolish Burial now. Um, I figured that this is a super versatile card, and I've got room for it. Call by the Grave to stop, like, hand traps or whatever. Like, I've got room for it in 60 now. One for one, this is classic. Like, you need this for your uh, either your Brotar 
or your Synchron, your Tuner, or um, even your uh, Black Metal Dragon to start your full combos. This is part full combo by itself, basically. And then finally for uh, the one at one, um, I like having an easy side out target um, in the form of Upstart Goblin when I'm playing 60 now because that's just the path I have chosen. So more one-off spells, you got the field spells, the Boot Sector Launch, and the Dragon's Ravine for Romulus, and then finally the Red-Eyes Fusion for the Dragoon Package, which is absolutely insane. Finally, your Bread and Butter, your Chaos Spaces, your Quick Launches, and of course your Three World Legacy Guard Dragon. This card's a double extender. It makes the game easy. Let's move on to the extra deck. So Nibiru Token, shout out to Nibiru. Uh, we're playing the Dark Dragoon. Like, this card's absolutely insane. Just, like, read this card. I, I summoned this on someone after they, like, stopped everything, but they weren't too familiar with it. Um, and they were like, wait a minute, that can pop twice per turn? I was like, yeah, it's stupid. Because, uh, yeah, I was able to eat his whole entire board. Um, Savage, that's your go-to. Uh, Triple Striker, this card is Monster Reborn. Once you get Recharger Engrave, so stupid. Uh, just one Pisty and one LP. Um, if there was more room in the extra deck, I might want to play more of these, but once you get these out, they're pretty much good. Link 2's Double Spheres. Like, this card's insane. This is, like, one of the best boss monsters that you have available to you. A generic Dark Link 2 that you can make uh, for Guard Dragon arrows, and it baits many negates because people will always want to negate this thing. Uh, Romulus... Uh, needle for climbing up, and then the Link 4s, no Link 3s. Uh, we got Apollosa, Saryuja. People probably don't recommend this, but I I think it's hilarious. Uh, you can usually chain block this, so it's fine anyway, so whatever. And then Boral Sword for ending games. That's how Dragon Link ends games. Finally, the side deck is kind of relevant, I think. Um, I was, like, running Imperial Order and, like, whatever shit in there. Shout out Team Baz cards. Uh, but now it's kind of more structured because you're not going to see your side deck as often because you're playing 60. So this, you're not going to see this as often, uh, but what essentially what it does is it locks your opponent from some special summoning light or dark monsters. So you basically bounce their normal summon with heavenly spheres and special summon this instead of like summoning like an extra Brotar or uh, uh, or like any, anything really, like, a, like an extender. Uh, so essentially you make it so that they cannot play the game anymore because they can't summon light and dark monsters. So boom, it's like a, it's like a lock. Uh, so like this against Drytron is game. GG. Bye. You're, you're done. Uh, next up, some, uh, some nice dark hand traps. You got your Skullmeister. This stops an activation of a graveyard effect. You can normal summon it. It's a, four, a 1700 beater level four. Like awesome. Oh, next is Droll. Uh, this card only comes in when you're having an unhealthy format, and this one's unhealthy enough to side this. Like, because if you're going up against like Drytron, for example, uh, you would like probably take out the Lancias for these or whatever. Next up, Harpy's Feather Duster and Triple Cosmic Cyclone. These would go in against like a back row deck, uh, and you'd probably take out the Nibirus for this. Maybe the Gammas. Um, I used to play, like, evenlies and stuff, but I found that, um, that doesn't really matter. Uh, the thing about, uh, this awesome Floodgate, uh, this is the Imperial Order for traps, except you don't have to pay 700 life points every turn. This card's just nutty. Uh, so you just, <laughs> I drew it, but, uh, unfortunately I didn't get to use it this tournament, but, uh, it's really nice because you just stop all your opponent's Eldritch cards, their evenly match, all their Altergeist cards. Uh, I was expecting Altergeist this tournament, but uh, they did, they, uh, no one played it. Finally, goes in match. Most of your cards are uh, dark monsters, um, and the meta currently can uh, um, usually not play around having one monster type uh, attribute, whatever. All right, GG's, everyone. Uh, that was the video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, have a great day, and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the Bye-bye.